This is a really interesting find on eBay for just two dollars. It's a Skywolf ITLY006 flashlight. It's called the Zoomable Tactical Flashlight and it really is zoomable in a really quite a nice range. It's really bright and it has three modes. Full power, half power and this annoying flicker mode. It claims to have Cree T6 LED in it, but the listing can actually say absolutely anything. It runs on lithium ion 18650 battery and it claims to have 5000 lumens. So let's do some calculations. The best LEDs in the world have about 150 lumens per watt at low power, but at full power the efficiency is a bit lower, so it's about 100 to 125 lumens per watt. And if the flashlight had 5000 lumens and the efficiency was the best one, which is 125 lumens per watt, then the power of the LED inside would have to be 40 watts. And that's a nonsense. I really don't believe this has a 40 watt LED in it. But anyway, it's still really bright. It's much brighter than I expected. And it's really quite powerful for its size and price. And the zoom range is really impressive. It's from about 60 degree to let's say about 4 or 5 degree. And when it's set to the maximum zoom, it basically projects the shape of the LED die. And it really looks quite sturdy and professional. It's entirely made of aluminium. It's not a plastic, it's really aluminium with a black finish. So let's take it to bits, find out how does it work, what LED is inside and what's the real power. So the switch switches full brightness off, low brightness off, flicker off. And I was originally thinking there must be a six position switch in it. But it's actually just a simple on off switch. I was thinking there is a six position switch with low resistor, high resistor and some blinking chip. But it's not there, it's just really a single switch with nothing else in it. So the power switching circuit and blinking circuit must be somewhere here. There is the cell and there is a spring contact inside. And of course it comes without a battery, but you cannot expect the battery to be included for two dollars. On the other hand, you can get those batteries for free if you salvage some old battery pack from a laptop. Even if the laptop battery pack is dead, there is always one or two cells good. And of course don't buy the cheap eBay Chinese fake batteries because the real capacity is about 500 mAh. This is not possible. Okay, let's have a fresh lithium ion battery. It's almost 4.2 volts. Let's put it in. And because we know this is just a switch without any resistor or regulator, we can just replace it with ampermeter. And this is the full power. And it's drawing about 0 0.6 amps. The switch is really just on or off. It doesn't do anything else and the modes are being switched just by turning it off or on. It's full power, low power, blinking. So there must be a chip that remembers the last state and each time you turn it on it will switch to another mode. There is a screwable aluminium top. You can remove it. And here is the lens, which you can remove. The lens is just plastic, but what can you expect for two dollars? And it really looks like a Cree 3 watt LED. I'm not sure is it a real Cree LED or Chinese copy, but it seems to work quite well. So let's try to unscrew the entire LED module. 
it's a little bit tricky. And the LED is finally out. It looks like this. And this is the rubber gasket that causes the friction of the zooming head. And finally the LED module. It looks like a real LED with the maximum current of about one amp. Quite nice. And there is some driver board with the spring contact. So let's try to open it up. And here we go. This is the LED. And there is some driver. There is some three pin IC, two resistors and a capacitor. There is the LED on aluminum plate and the plate makes contact with this metal housing so it transfers the heat. And I was expecting some switching back regulator with inductor here but it seems like just a linear regulator. So let's try to reverse engineer the schematic of it. And it's neither a switching back regulator nor a linear constant current regulator. It's just a circuit with a series resistor. So the current is only controlled by those two resistors in parallel which actually work as one single resistor with 0.75 ohm resistance. And this chip just controls the modes. Once you turn it on, it's constantly on and this is the full power. The next time you turn it off and on, it's switching at a very high frequency, so it modulates the power. And the third time you turn it off and on, it blinks. Then it repeats. And now let's find out what is the current and power of the LED. I was trying to measure the current using my multimeter and it says 0.6 amps. But because of the resistance of my multimeter, uh, the measured current is probably lower than the real one. So let's take a fresh battery once again and let's try to measure the voltage across this resistor. 0.53 volts and this is still with almost full battery. And now let's try to measure the voltage of the LED. 3.1 volts and the chip is also going to have some voltage drop across it. So let's try to measure it. And it's about 0.24 volts. So the voltage drop of the chip is 0.24. So let's add all the voltages and we get about 3.87 volts on the battery. And the voltage of the battery is actually a little lower because of the internal resistance of the battery and also because of the resistance of all the contacts and the resistance of the switch. So this is why the voltage entering the board is a little lower than the voltage of the battery. So let's try to check the voltage on the capacitor. About 3.8687. That's really close. And now we know the voltage on the resistor and the resistor value. So we can calculate the current. I equals U over R and it is 0.53 volts divided by 0.75 ohms and it is and the power is U times I and it is here we have the voltage of the LED 3.1 volts times the current this is 0.76 amps and we get about 2.19 watts so the power of the LED is actually about 2.2 watts so we know the power and if this was the best commercially available LED which has about 125 lumens per watt at full power the real light output should be about 274 lumens. I don't have any device to measure the actual light output, but I think this is close to reality. 
and this is a very full battery when the battery will go flat it will decline because there is just a resistor there is no constant current regulator and if the LED is some Chinese copy and not the best one that's definitely going to be even lower but still it looks really surprisingly bright to me and the flicker frequency is about 11 Hz and the switching frequency of the brightness modulation is about 0 0.50 6 kilohertz and the duty is about 26 percent so the power at uh, the low power setting is about one quarter and I was trying to identify the LED in it and it appears to me like Cree XPE LED type and the appearance of the LED is the same the size is the same so it should be this one and its maximum current is 1 amp and the maximum power is 3.5 watts and the light output is 307 lumens at this power the voltage drop is also the same as I have measured and in this design the LED is a little under driven at only 2.2 watts and this gives the LED higher efficiency and longer life and I really like this because in some Chinese designs the LEDs are being driven at 3 or 4 times the maximum current and I don't call it LED torch, I call it LED torture. And the disadvantage of this design is that there is no current regulation, so the brightness of the LED will decline as the battery discharges. And there is no low voltage cutoff, so the design only relies on the fact that at low voltages the LED draws very low current. And this design can be easily modified, you can for example change those resistors to get different current. And you can also remove this chip to get rid of the annoying blinking. You just short it out from here to here. And because the chip has some resistance, you will have to increase the resistance of those resistors to compensate it. Without the chip, it will be just on or off. And because the chip has no under discharge protection in it, you don't lose anything by removing it. So I have put it back together and it still works. And I really like it, it's a really amazing torch. So this is Diode Gone Wild. See you in my next videos.